Hi everyone, Nick here and welcome to another Gran Turismo Sport video. Today we're doing the final race in the Nations Cup 2018 off-season exhibition. That still doesn't get any easier to say. Today we're driving round Brands Hatch for full Grand Prix circuit and we're going to be doing it in the Porsche 911 which normally I'd say I really like and normally I like around this track but in practice I was having an absolute nightmare and it just wasn't going well at all. My pace wasn't really there and I wasn't being consistent so it all added up to not looking particularly great. Anyway, a bit more positive, let's have a look at the qualifying lap. First corner, not amazing but it's not the end of the world. Turn two, just about get towards the apex but again not really doing what we need to do there. Turn three is not too bad, again a little bit wide on the apex, a little bit cautious, not really committed. Turn four, again that's not too bad but we could be doing better and it's just a bit safe. I think knowing that I had another lap potentially after this one I could do okay. We go through there, the guy nicely lets us through but in possibly the most off-putting way possible so we're not doing great through there. Cones have gone scattered all over the place there so this is our breaking point. So this whole sector's not going amazingly well. Get through here, bit of a wobble, two corners from home, and I think that's purple up in the top corner. So that's one tenth inside of that. So looking okay, going through the last corner, and well, what can we do? Will it be a purple? No, of course not, it's a 127.8, which is 1.8 seconds off the pace. And that actually translated to 17th because I messed up all of my other qualifying laps, um, even on a fresh set of tyres. So, um, yeah, a lot of work to be done here to get a good result. Okie dokie, let's get down to the grid and see who we're up against in this race. Pole position, we've got Felgenhauer from Germany in the Porsche. Another Porsche, Quicker J, another German in second. Third place, we've got Siempre Madrid in the Lancer, unsurprisingly from Spain. Fourth, we've got Lore Chiava from Italy in the BMW. Fifth place we've got a McLaren, Clay Estacus from Spain. Sixth we've got Tom Jensen from Denmark in the Porsche. Seventh is Soso Laza from France in the BMW. Got another Porsche in eighth, XA17 from Spain. Ninth, Nick Taff from Belgium in the 911. Got Hits in the Aston Martin from the UK. 11th, another Porsche, LJ from Spain. 12th place, we've got a Croatian with a lovely name in the Mitsubishi. 13th, we've got Muller CJ in the Alpha. 14th, we've got C4 Chavas in the Subaru. A colourful Porsche there in 15th, Razvan. 16th, a Desloper from Russia in the Audi. 17th, looking good as always, it's the Spotify 911. 18th, Frantes in, in Renault from Spain. 19th is Dredagon in the Toyota from Germany. And last but not least is DJ Guardiola in the Porsche 911. Hopefully Pep's giving them some good tips for this race. So as you see, it's a standing start. So because we're in a fairly powerful car we're gonna do what we always do which is blip the traction control down if we ever actually get to that we'll blip the traction control to one 
get on the power, put the brakes on, don't jump the start like some people ahead of us do, and away we go. And it goes really well. Absolute carnage. And as you can see, we've already got damage to our car, engine damage. I'm at that point swearing so much at the screen, I don't even notice that I drive into a wall. Um, but yeah, we're now 17th, not really sure what's gone on, and five different parts of the car are flashing red with damage. So race over within five seconds. Amazing, amazing stuff. Um, generally quite a big fan of having the damage if it's going to teach people to um, drive properly but if it's just going to completely ruin your race I mean I genuinely don't know what I could have done better there I mean the car in front of me semi-span I had to lift off and then get murdered from behind having looked at the replay as well it looks like the same sort of thing happened elsewhere where other people got ruined and just absolute carnage you can see people just backing off going off other cars are flying past me because they don't have and you can see from the revs at the bottom just how bad my engine is at this point just unable to drive basically and because i'm going at completely the wrong speed i don't know where i'm supposed to be braking i'm going far too slowly it's just an absolute disaster so we're obviously going to pit at the end of this lap and see what happens so coming round second last corner, we're now 18, and yeah, it turns out that quite a few people actually pit because obviously a lot of people got caught up in that, not even first corner incident, that grid incident, back half of the grid incident. But yeah, we get into the pits, put some hard tyres on, we're going to go as long as possible on those. You can see we've got all sorts of damage there that we're going to get repaired. So that all gets sorted out and let's get on our way. We're still 80. We come out the pit lane inside of the other car, get not a great start, but Dredagon up ahead goes a bit wide. Then we get a car on the outside of us who then swerves across to the inside of Dredagon, obviously intent on damaging his car as soon as possible. So that's good. And then the Nissan manages to squeak around the outside of us there to get up into 19th so we're now 20th and last and after our efforts in the manufacturers series race that happened just before this where we also finished 20th and last i was absolutely delighted with things and um yeah racing when you're very 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 annoyed is never a great idea it just tends to be a bit rubbish and as you can see the guy's head start pulling away so that's not great one of them span so we gained a place got the inside there not really sure what's going on but we lift off to let Redagon continue on his way and go through turn two again he seems to be really struggling here could be damage that I've just given him maybe I don't know maybe he's already ruined tyres I suppose if he came out on medium tyres after he did maybe he could he gets a terrible exit through there. We go around the outside, brake late and stay wide to make sure we don't come into contact with him and he goes back up the inside. Fair enough. We get a better run out of the corner. Try to go past, not really gonna get through there. Track's not very wide, so we're not gonna get through there. And by this point, we can't actually go right because another car's gone there and he goes up the inside and takes the place that we wanted to have. Brilliant. But then it's only one more corner until both of them go in, both of them go deep, both of them hit gravel, both of them come across, one of them goes, one of them doesn't, and the one that doesn't hits my front left hand corner and gives me some more damage. Um, maybe I could have slammed brakes on but I was going to struggle to avoid that and at this point the guy behind has quit. I, to be honest, was extremely close to quitting as well. I, yeah, I think I've only rage quitted once in this entire game and that was nearly a second, but we persevered. Um, I had a bit of a rubbish spin at some point, which put me even further back and just generally didn't have any pace. So I think towards the end, as I had nothing really to race for, I came in for some medium tires and decided that I was gonna attempt the fastest lap of a race just to show 
just to kind of prove to myself that I wasn't useless at the game anymore. So we're going through here and you can see that we are just inside the fastest time, We've got purple, so that's good. It's saying to give way, but we're actually pulling away from the car behind, so we're not going to do that. And even if we did, we get a ghost. So again, we're still inside the fastest lap, so we've still got that potential crumb of comfort. Come through this corner, a bit wobbly, not ideal. And I think at this point we start to get a little bit deflated, thinking that fastest lap is not going to be ours. A bit tight on there, and again, not as fast as you could be. Going through here, it's now no longer purple, it's a personal best, but not a race best, which would still be alright. We did a 127.1, so as long as we're getting 126s, it wouldn't be too bad. We go through the last corner to seal our magnificent 18th place. What time can we actually do? We do do a hint of a 125s, three tenths off the fastest lap of the race, but ultimately it's 18th out of 18th, which is last place not good at all we get a whopping 84 points of the championship because two people quit which then means that we finish on 1651 points overall sixth best in london 98th best in the uk and 642nd in the emea region not great not terrible but not as good as it was looking at the start of the season Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, then don't forget to like the video or to subscribe to the channel or to leave a comment. At how did you get on in the Nations Cup season? Did it go okay for you? I hope it did. But until next time, goodbye.